coming up to the trench, Captain. Excellent, Dashy. Steady as she goes. That must be it. It looks really deep. Let's find a safe place to set the ship down near the trench. Prepare to land. Shiver, whiskers. The sea floor's all pink and wiggly looking. Dashy, pull up. Now. I'm on it, Captain. We'll have to find another place to land. That looks like a good spot. Captain, I noticed we changed course. Is everything all right? I don't know, Shellington. What do you make of that? Fascinating, Captain. Those are sea pigs. Sea pigs? Yes. Sea pigs are creatures that live in the deep ocean, but they don't swim. They walk around on the seafloor with little legs. And it looks like they're walking straight towards the trench. That's not good. If they fall in, they won't be able to swim out. That's a long way to fall, matey. That's not the only problem. Sea pigs eat bits of food that drift down from the surface of the ocean. And hardly any of it gets down that far. Aye, so they'd be stuck and hungry. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, a large herd of sea pigs is heading towards the trench. We have to stop them before they fall in. We'll need gups A, B, C, D and E. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Attention, sea pigs. You must turn around. You're walking straight towards... Oh, food. Yum, yum, yummy food. No. It's a very deep trench. If you continue on your course, you will... Food! No! Please, listen to me. The trench is really deep, and there's no food for you down there. Food! Food, you say? Yummy, smelly food. Of course, that's it. Captain, I think the sea pigs may have picked up the scent of food on the other side of the trench. They can smell food from very far away. Then we'd better find whatever it is the sea pigs are smelling and bring it over to this side of the trench for them to eat. Quasi, Tweak, Dashy and Shellington, you come with me. Peso, stay here and keep an eye on the sea pigs. Aye, aye, Captain. Stop! There's no food down there. This must be what the sea pigs are smelling. Yeah, those fellows actually eat this slimy stuff. It's rotten sea kelp that's fallen down from the surface. For sea pigs, it's very healthy. Healthy or not, I reckon it smells awful. I'm glad I've got this helmet on. <laughs> It'll take forever to gather all this up. Captain, the sea pigs are getting closer to the edge. You have to hurry. Ugh, but there's no way we can get this slop over to the sea pigs in time. Unless... Octonauts, stay here and load this into the gups as quickly as you can. In the meantime, I think there might be a way to distract them. Yes, I know it smells, but we need to make something even smellier. Can you use this to cook an extra smelly feast for a huge herd of hungry sea pigs? And fast. Smells awful. Great work. I'm sure the sea pigs will love it. <laughs> Captain, I can't hold them back any longer. And you won't have to. <laughs> oh. Lappity flippers. They're turning around. Steady as we go, Tunip. 
Hold her here while I unload the sea pig's feast. Super, Chapo. Uh-oh. Hey, sir, the Gup X is sinking into the mud. We need your help, now. On my way, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Peso. Let's hope that guff of yours can take the strain. Okay, Tunip. Full reverse power. Oh. Let's go. Quasi, Tunip has fallen into the trench. I need you to go after him, fast. Aye, aye, Captain. Everyone else, some of the sea pigs have followed the Gup X into the trench. We need to rescue them, too. Aye, aye, Captain. For your tunic. Tunic, where are you, matey? Crazy. Tunic. Stuck a stuck a murder. Tunic, I can hear you, but I can't see you. Crazy. He must be buried in the mud, but there's a lot of mud down here. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. We can't save them one by one, Cap. It'll take too long. Then we'll have to round them up. Octonauts, follow me as fast as you can. We're going to make a sea pig whirlpool. Peso, open the Gup E's holding tank. Got you. There you go. <laughs> Quasi, any sign of Tunip and the glider? No, Captain. They they disappeared. Request backup. We need more than backup, Quasi. We need a plan. Food. And I think I might just have one. It's no good. Tunic could be anywhere. That's why we're going to sniff him out. All right, little sea piggy. Food. Find food. Oh, food. Mmm, smell food. Over there. Whee. Captain, what? There was still some of the sea kelp cake left on top of the glider. Our friend there is sniffing it out. Look there. It looks like... <laughs> Hello. Tunip. Super, super. You did it! Hooray! Well done, guys! Thanks for your help. I don't know what we'd have done without you. Woohoo! Food! More food! <laughs> There's plenty more where that came from. Smelly stuff. Which is more than can be said for poor Tunip.
much, Bay. <laughs> Octonauts, Tweak has something very exciting planned for us today. That's right. It's time for the first ever inspection of the Gub X. Inspection? What kind of inspection? We're going to make sure that every part of the Gub X is working the way it should. I've got a whole checklist of things to test out. Uh, uh, that doesn't sound very exciting. It is when you do it in the Midnight Zone, Quasi. The Midnight Zone? Now you're talking! The Midnight Zone is the deepest part of the ocean and can be very dangerous. If the Gupex works down there, it'll work anywhere. Exactly. Now why don't we get the show on the road? Octonauts, let's do this. Okay, first things first. Let's test out the suction tires. Everyone hold on. Isn't there a, a safer way to check the suction tires? Nope. Suction tires, check. We're now entering the midnight zone. Automatic headlights, check. Let's test the backup lights. Flip that switch, will you, Cap? Uh-huh. And back on again. Whoa! Uh <laughs> wow! Shiver me whiskers! Hydrothermal vents. Captain, it looks like you had a rough landing. Everything okay down there? We're fine, Dashy, but take a look at this. Gub cameras, check. Jumping jellyfish. The black smoke coming out of those hydrothermal vents is actually really hot water. Hot enough to melt the gub. Be careful, Captain. Thanks, Shellington. Huh. That was a close one, Tweak. How's the Gup X doing? Uh, engines are still running. Computer is online. Super tough outer shell is handling the heat just fine. Good. Let's continue the inspection away from these hydrothermal vents. Okay, Cap, activate the glider. Check. Ah-ha! Octo skis working too, Tweet. What? What's the matter, matey? You look like you've just seen a sea ghost. <sighs> Must be my imagination. Come on, Quasi. We'd better get back inside. Come on, Tweak. What was out there? Well. I know it sounds crazy, but I could have sworn I saw something white and furry climbing around on the gut. White? Furry? Oh, mateys, there's only one thing it could be. A sea yeti. Half fish, half shaggy white beast. The sea yeti lurks in the darkest depths of the midnight zone. But you'll always smell it before you see it. A sea yeti's foul breath smells like rotten eggs and is strong enough to knock out the mightiest pirate! Now that you mention it, it does smell sort of funny in here. Hmm. Note to self, replace the air freshener. Well, sea yeti or no sea yeti, we'd better finish the inspection. There's just one more thing on my checklist, Cap. The hot cocoa machine. <laughs> well? Oh, check. That does it. The Gupex is in total and complete 100% work in order. Huh? Hmm. Sounds like we have a stowaway. Ooh, smells like it, too. <gasps> Yow! The Sea Yeti's got me! Oh! oh! I am not a sea yeti. I am a yeti crab. And my name is Klaus. <laughs> a yeti crab? Whatever you are, matey, you don't smell too good. Sort of like rotten eggs. <gasps> yeah, that is a smell from the hydrothermal vents where I live. 
Oh, smells delicious. <laughs> Phew, you live near the hydrothermal vents. Oh, aren't they very hot and dangerous? Not for a yeti crab. Uh, I use the hairs on my arms to catch tiny bits of food coming out of the vents. <laughs> but mm, there is nothing to eat inside this rock, and I am also hungry. This isn't a rock. It's our ship. Your ship? Oh, pardon me. <laughs> we yeti crabs are blind. <laughs> I cannot see a thing. In that case, Klaus, you'd better let us take you back home. Oh, thank you. That would be wonderful. It is almost my dinner time. <laughs> All right, Octonauts. Back to the hydrothermal vents. <laughs> Tweak, the brakes are out. I can't stop the ship. Oh, no. Our little friend here must have done some damage when he was looking for food. Uh, I might have snipped a few things in there. Captain, if we don't stop the gub, we're going to crash into the hydrothermal vents. <laughs> There's no room to turn the gub around. Cap, it looks like the problem is a disconnected wire behind the main control panel. Can you reconnect it, Tweak? Sure thing, Cap. There's just one small problem. The main control panel can only be reached from the outside. Should be right over here. Let's take it nice and easy. Camp, <laughs> we've reached the control panel. Good. Now hurry. <laughs> Bingo! Now I just need to reconnect the red wires. <laughs> Can't quite reach. Any luck, Tweak? I'm trying, Camp. My home will be destroyed for sure. I will never eat again. <laughs> Don't worry, Klaus. We'll think of something, won't we? Klaus, there's only one person the right size for the job. <laughs> Me, of course. <laughs> and I even know a shortcut. <laughs> yo -ho! I have come to help save my home, yeah? Oh, and your ship. Oh. All right. All you have to do is reconnect the red wires. Oh, with my long arms and crabby claws, that should be easy. <laughs> oh, careful. The red wire, not the blue one. Oops, I'm sorry. I cannot see you, remember? <laughs> right. Captain, look! Tweak, you've got to hurry up! Okay, left a bit. No, right a bit. Captain, we're going to crash in five... No, don't cut the wire! Four! Whoops! Three! Come on, mateys! Two! Ta-da! Cap, the brakes are back! <laughs> Oh. Well done, Captain. Oh, me, oh, my. Yeah, we did it! Ah! Way to go, little fella. Oh, smells like home. And just in time for dinner. Oh. <laughs> so tasty, yeah? Huh? Thank you for all the ride. And thank you for all your help, Klaus. Goodbye. And goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Good work today, Octonauts. The Yeti Crab is back home. The hydrothermal vents are safe. And the Gubex is in ship shape. There's just one thing left. Ah, oh, what's that, matey? Is there anything we can do about this smell? Hey, so. <laughs> Was he? Hmm, I wonder what those little lights are up ahead. Shellington? It could be a group of tiny firefly squid, Captain. They glow in the dark. 
Let's dim the lights so we can get a better look at them. Already on it, Captain. I still can't tell what they are for certain. They don't seem to be moving. Then let's get a little closer. Closer. Ah! Jumping jellyfish! Dashy, put us in reverse and pull away. Uh, I'm trying, Captain, but something's got us. Oh! Oh! Switch to steering wheel mode now. Must break free. Oh, oh dear. Ow! Ow! What? Shiver me whiskers. Lappity flippers. It's no good, we're held tight. Dashy, lights, let's see what's got us. Aye, aye, Captain. <gasps> it's an enormous eye. Those itty bitty lights around my eye fooled you, didn't they? You didn't know they belonged to big old me. We mean you no harm. Please, let go of us at once. No. Uh, I grab it, I keep it. You weird looking squid. Daddy, stand the up to alert. Whoa. Octonauts, to the HQ. Shellington, any idea what's grabbed us? Yes, it's a colossal uh, squid. It's like my cousin, the giant squid, only oh, bigger. It's uh, the biggest squid in the ocean. I wish it would stop shaking us. No more shaking. Phew, that was easy. Time for squeezing. Ah, he'll crush the octopod. Not if we match him tentacle for tentacle. Tweet. I've got just the thing, Cap. We're in this tentacle suit. Professor Inkling will be able to move the arms of the octopod as if they were his own. Whoa! I may not be good at pushing buttons, but I'm an expert at tentacle wrestling. Excellent. Activate tentacle suit. <laughs> Twist to the side. <laughs> Now down. That's it. Aha! You're swashbuckling like a proper pirate, Professor. Ugh, oh my! I need to break free before he gets his hooks in us. Hooks? What hooks? The colossal squid has hooks on the ends of his tentacles. Yeah, which makes it quite a challenge to get away from him. Almost there. Just a few more twists and turns, and we'll be in. Ah! <gasps> Ink Cloud, a classic move from the Squid Playbook. Oh no, I can't see where his tentacles are. That's right, eat my ink. <laughs> I'm taking you down, way down. <laughs> Captain, I'm afraid he's hooked us. Understood. Quasi, to the launch bay. Here's the plan. We'll swim outside and use our own paws to pry those hooks off the ship. <laughs> ah, these hooks are no match for a swashbuckling pirate. For every hook we loosen, two more move into place. This will take all my polar bear strength. Got it! Captain, incoming tentacle! Thanks, Quasi. Anytime. Better keep moving. Captain, there's something heading straight for us. It's a pod of sperm whales, and sperm whales love to eat colossal squid. 
Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. If the sperm whales try to eat the colossal squid... Then they might take a bite out of the octopod, too. Oh, it's every squid for himself. I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Stop holding on to me. Let go. You're the one who's hooked on to us. You're right. I'm stuck. I'll never get away from the sperm whales if I can't move fast enough. Captain, the sperm whales are getting closer. Oh, we're doomed! Don't worry, we'll keep you and the octopod safe from the sperm whales. Octonauts, prepare all gups for launch. There you are, our colossal dinner. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh, hey! This is fun! Everyone, pull up! Up, 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 up. Now, back down! Oh, down! They're still chasing us. Yes, Peso, but sperm whales breathe air. So sooner or later, they'll have to swim back up to the surface to breathe. <sighs> Going! Must go up for air! Good work, Octonauts! Oh, thank you! You guys saved me! Um, I'm sorry about almost crushing your ship and stuff. No harm done. Well, not much anyway. And now, let's help you unhook yourself from the octopod. No, no! You just take it easy. Really, I can do it. <laughs> Watch out, matey. Your hooks are digging in deeper. Just a little tentacle trouble, that's all. Are you sure you don't need some help? Hold your seahorses, I can do it. I'll just brace myself. Oh. And give it a good swall. Yes! No! Oops, sorry. <laughs> Juniper and the vegetables are in there. Ah, they're sinking fast. We've no time to lose. Everybody, dive! <laughs> it's too dark. I can't see the pod. I see it! I see it! You're pulling me poor. It's too dark down here to see anything. I have the biggest eyes in the ocean. And I can see just fine without light. Then let's use your squid vision. Where are they now? I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh-oh, down, go down. Everyone, dive. Oh, no, not that way, the other way. Bring the cups around. Hurry, they're heading for some sharp rocks. You've got one free tentacle. Reach out with it now and grab them if you can. All right. I think I got it. Oh, I got it. Octonauts, pull up. Well done. Sometimes a spare tentacle really comes in handy. I'm great at grabbing, but I have a hard time letting go. I guess I could use some help after all. Operation Untangle Tentacles begins now. Now that all your tentacles are back where they belong, it's time to return one of ours. Tweak? Okay, big guy. Bring up the pod. That's it. Up a little more. Down a little. A little more. Now to your left. <laughs> uh, to your other left. Got it! Super, super! Good work, everyone. I think this calls for a tentacle bump. Yeah! Easy now. Watch the hooks, matey. <laughs> <laughs>
Barnacles to tweak. Ready for progress report. Go ahead, Cap. It's looking good down here. The legs are attached. <laughs> and the door is secure. Thanks, Captain. Oh! Uh, the last two computers are in place on the upper level. Thanks, Professor. It looks like we're ready. What do you think, Tweak? Cap, it's time to put all the parts of our brand new deep sea Octolab together. Octonauts and Vegemals, prepare for full assembly. Ready? Ready. Activate full assembly, Tweak. You got it, Cap. <laughs> full assembly complete. Oh, yeah! Oh, marvelous. <laughs> Octonauts. Welcome to the Deep Sea Octolab. Wow! Fantastic! Very nice. Mm. Yowzers! Octonauts, our mission is to take the Deep Sea Octolab all the way down to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench is the deepest, darkest place on Earth, mateys! And once we've set up the Octolab, Dashi and Shellington will stay for a few weeks while the rest of us return to the Octopod. We're just going to leave them behind in the deepest, darkest place on Earth? Yes. Absolutely. We'll be the first scientists to live and study down in the trench. We'll be able to take pictures of parts of the deep sea that no one has ever seen. And discover new creatures, I hope. And do it all in a place so dangerous that even pirates have never gone there. That sounds like a big job for only two Octonauts. Don't worry, Peso. Tweak and I have invented some helpers. Meet the Octobots! I've programmed the Octobots to help with our research. They have video cameras for eyes, so we can see what they see. And they can collect rocks from the sea floor. <laughs> Tunip wants to show you his favourite invention. The veggie bar! <laughs> the veggie bot is programmed to provide all the comforts of home. Oh, thank you, veggie bot. Uh, no more kelp cakes for me, thank you. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! Incoming! Oh, That. I'm still working out some glitches in the VeggieBot's programming, but everything else is ready to go. Then let's hook the Deep Sea Octolab up to the Octopod and head for the Mariana Trench. <laughs> OK, that should fix the problem. Let's test it out, Tunip. I'd like one kelp cake, please, Veggie Bot. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's perfect. That's a fur Veggie Bot. Veggie Bot test successful. Very good. It looks like we're getting close to the Mariana Trench. Dashy, it's time to go downwards. I'm on it, Captain. Octonauts. The deeper we go, the darker it gets. Prepare to travel into the total darkness of the Midnight Zone. through these sea mountains to get down to the trench. Dashy, let's take it slow. These sea 
see mountains at all. Yes, some of them are taller than any mountain on dry land. There it is, the Mariana Trench. It looks like a humongous, bottomless pit of darkness. Yes, the trench is much too deep to see to the bottom from up here. So how do we know where to put the Octolab if we can't even see the bottom? We'll have to go down and look. Quasi, Shellington, you're with me. Time to get out of the gub and head for the very bottom. to the bottom. Whoa! It's a field of hydrothermal vents, but something's wrong. Isn't there supposed to be smoke and steam coming out? Look, Shellington, some of them have crumbled. Yes, active hydrothermal vents are hot and bubbly with lots of animals living around them, but they don't last forever. These vents have gone cold and fallen apart. Aye. And there's not a creature stirring. I'm in position. What's the report? You know I can't see very well, so just give me a moment to work it out. It's... it's... three different shiny creatures. Ooh, one of them has a long tentacle. Do they seem hungry? Are they coming to eat us? Everybody, snap to it! Hold your positions! Shush! Quiet! Captain, this area is fascinating, but we can't put the deep sea octolab on top of these crumbling vents. Agreed. Let's keep looking for a better place. They're gone. Coast is clear. Glad they didn't find us. Glad they didn't us. We're safe for now. Listen, everyone. I'm afraid we can't live around these hydrothermal vents anymore. They're too cold for us. We're going to march across this trench until we find a new hydrothermal vent to call home. Somewhere nice and hot. With lots of steam and gas bubbling up. A place where baby tube worms, like us, can grow up to be giant tube worms. Aha! That's the spirit. Now then, come on, find a partner and don't forget the clam. Climb aboard, old friend. Sideways, march! We live in the midnight zone. We live in the midnight zone. In the dark but not alone. In the dark but not alone. Hmm, this area's nice and flat. I think we've found the perfect place for the deep sea octolab. Agreed. Barnacles to Dashy. Dashy here, Captain. We've found our spot. Let's move the octopod into position. The octopod is in position, Captain. Very good, Dashy. The trench is too narrow for the octopod at the bottom, so the gut sea will take it part of the way. Ready, Tweak? Ready, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. All right, Tweak. On my signal, release the cable and let the Octolab fall into place. You got it, Cap. Ready, steady, drop. <laughs> Octonauts, the deep sea Octolab has landed. Let's turn on the lights and get to work. <laughs> I'm not a bit nervous about being down this deep anymore. The Octolab feels completely safe. Oh, it is safe, Peso. 
Sure, it's cold and dark out there, but we've got plenty of powerful light and heat. And I put the whole thing on legs, so it'll just bounce around without breaking a thing if we get hit by tremors. Tremors? You see, we're down so deep that there's only a thin layer of the sea floor between us and the hot, melted rock inside the Earth. Dashi? When pieces of the sea floor move around on top of the melted rock, they bump into each other, and we get tremors. The Octolab has special equipment that shows us whether or not there are any tremors close by. Let's turn it on. Looks like everything's calm and steady for now. No tremors. Phew. I hope it stays that way. We've collected some fantastic rock samples. The Octobots are working well. Aye! Uh-oh. Something's coming. Come on, boys. Time to roll. Uh-oh. I don't know. Not a clue. Shiba, shiba. Lurda, lurda. Shiba, shiba. I smell food. Smells good. Let's, Let's roll. roll. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Delicious. I could eat a million of them. Ah, that's good. We live in the midnight zone. We live in the midnight zone. In the dark, but not alone. In the dark, but not alone. Everybody halt! I feel heat. Me too. And it's coming from this thing. Oh, a nice warm-up for cold claws. Indeed. Snap to it. Sideways, climb! Left, 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 left. Mmm, it's even warmer in here. Come on! Uh-oh, we've got a situation. <laughs> I'm stuck. Chain of claws, everyone. One, two, three, pull! Yeah! Again, pull! <laughs> Almost! All right, let's make this one count. One, two, three, pull! <laughs> I think I better sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the lower deck. We've lost all power to the Octolab. I need to check the power generator cap. We'll light your way. <clears throat> I have to open it up. There's no telling who or what could be hiding in there. Hmm. Oh, something's coming. Hide, everyone. Oh, me oh my. A wire's been cut. But who would do that? Now that's the roar of a wire-cutting monster if ever I heard one! Yow! Giant bugs! Easy now. No sudden moves. Oh, no worries. We can't move at all right now. Oh no. Are you all right? Oh, we're fine. Just really, really full. <laughs> uh, it's tough for us giant isopods to find food down here, so when we do... We eat and eat and eat until we can't eat anymore. Sometimes we eat so much that we're too stuffed to move for a while. Oh. Giant isopods. Fascinating. Most isopods are tiny, but down this deep the isopods are giants. But if you didn't cut the wire, then who did? Look behind you! <gasps> Stop! Uh-oh! Please don't hurt us! Don't worry, we won't hurt you. Oh, I'm sorry I cut your wire by accident. 
What were you doing in our power generator, mateys? It was nice and warm in there, and we like warm. We're looking for a nice hot hydrothermal vent to call home. We'll help you find a new home. But first, we need to get our power back. I'll just fix up this wire. <clears throat> that ought to do it. Okay, I'm gonna turn it back on. Control, Cap! <laughs> Wazzy, take the other Octo Buggy. Go after Tulip and the Veggie Bolt. Aye, aye, Cap. <laughs> Shellington, you go that way. Uh, Dashy, you go that way. I'll go this way. Let's catch those Octo Bolts. Ah, there you are. Let me help you with that. <laughs> Shellington, Dashy, I'm heading back to the Octo Lab with the runaway Octobot. He's picked up a lovely big rock for your collection. Captain, thanks to this Octobot, I found a type of sea cucumber I've never seen before. And this one is recording some beautiful glowing sea stars. How about you, Quasi? Have you caught up with the veggie bot? <laughs> Not yet, Captain! <laughs> yeah. We're on the edge of a lake of boiling hot glue. It sounds fascinating. It looks dangerous! <laughs> Quasi, turn on the Octo Buggy camera. Hi. Octo buggy camera on. Jumping jellyfish. It's a lake of boiling hot sulfur. Incredibly rare. Quasi, can you get a sample? Hi, matey. Just be careful not to fall in. Yeah. Got it. There's mud flying everywhere! Mud volcanoes! Amazing! This is great, Quasi! Video of underwater mud volcanoes is really rare! Wazzy, be careful. A big tremor is about to shake things up. Brace yourselves, everyone. found the perfect new home for our hydrothermal vent friends. I did? Yes! Hydrothermal vents form along cracks in the sea floor, just like this one. 
Good work, Quasi. Is this hot enough for you? Oh, yes. This is just the kind of home we've been looking for. This hydrothermal vent is just beginning to grow. And we'll grow with it. That's right. We'll get to watch you and this hydrothermal vent get a lot bigger. Let me take a picture of you in your new home. Say, seaweed. Seaweed! Dashie, Shellington, we'll be back down in a few weeks to pick you up. We'll miss you. Indeed yes, we will. Sure. We'll send video reports to the Octopod every day. We certainly have a lot to study. The lake of boiling sulphur, the mud volcanoes, the brand new hydrothermal vents. Aye, and who knows what else you'll find down here, mateys? <coughs> <coughs> Don't worry, Tunip. We'll take good care of the veggie bot. Remember, if you need us, we'll be here faster than you can say. Bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. Dashie, Shellington, goodbye for now. Octonauts, let's head back up to the octopod. Bye-bye. Farewell. Bye. So long, mateys. Veggie could I have a kelp cake? Me too. Thanks, Veggie Bot. <laughs> yeah. Everything's loaded into the dump, Captain. Ready to go down to the bottom of the trench. Thanks, Quasi. Tweak, we're heading down to the Octolab with the new wires. Thanks, Cap. I really need him to get the electrical system working again down here. It must be tough to work in the dark. Well, the emergency lights are on. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's just say it'll be nice to have the regular lights on again, Cap. We're on our way. Tunip, open the Octo hatch. But who knows what's lurking out there in the darkness? What was that? Flashing lights. Could be some kind of warning. Or maybe someone needs help. Quasi, Peso, let's investigate. Hmm, I don't see anything. No more strange flashing lights. Aye, but it's quiet. Too quiet. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa! It's an ambush! Captain Barnacles, and this is Quasi and Peso. Well, we're the Bomber Worms. Dino? How you doing? Rich? Lovely to meet you. Amarillo? Howdy! And the newest member of the... Hey, uh, uh, say, where's Jimmy Boy? Well, permission to speak, sir. Uh, Jimmy and I kind of crashed into each other. I said, you okay, kid? He said, don't worry about me. Save the captain. And that was the last I saw of him. He must have sunk to the bottom, sir. <sighs> sure gonna miss that kid. What in tarnation? Now look here, son. I've never left a worm behind, and I ain't gonna start now. Well, yes, I feel the same way about my team. Trouble is, we bomber worms spend our whole lives floating around here in the middle of the trench. And we never go all the way down to the seafloor. Got that right. Once Jimmy hits bottom, we might never find him. Who knows what's down there? Don't worry, Dino. We can help you find him. Octonauts, to your stations. Come in, Octolab. Um, Octolab, do you read me? We're 
We're still running on emergency power, and it's messing with our radio. Go ahead, Cap. There's a hurt bomber worm named Jimmy, and he's sinking to the bottom of this trench. He could be near you. Oh, no. There's not much food down here, which means there are lots of hungry creatures who'd love to eat him for dinner. Then we'll have to find him before they do. Dashie, Shellington, search the area near the Octolab right away. We're on it, Captain. When we reach the bottom, Quasi, Peso and the Bomber Worms will look for Jimmy as well. Octonauts, Bomber Worms, let's do this. Oh, oh gee. Well, this looks yummy. Oh, oh no. Oh, I don't like bright lights. You're lucky I don't like to move around much either. Phew, that was close. Oh, ouch, can't swim. Now what do I do? Okay, start your search. I'll drop off Tweak's wires and join you as soon as I can. Yo, Jimmy! Coming. Just have to hope the kid can hear us. He'll send up one of his flares. Assuming he's got any left. What do you mean? We bomber worms each have eight flares. Once he runs out, Jimmy won't be able to signal us or defend himself. Why can't he just grow more flares? It takes time to grow more. He don't have that kind of time. All right, boys, let's keep moving. Jimmy! Hey, Jimmy. We're on our way. Jimmy, where are you? Barnacles to Dashie and Shellington. Any sign of the missing bomber worm? Not yet, Captain, but we definitely found several creatures who might try to eat him. One anglerfish, a couple of gulper eels, some giant isopods, and a vampire squid. Keep searching, you two. We need to find Jimmy before any of those creatures do. Jimmy! Where are you, boy? Guys! Over here! Jimmy! Where are you, boy? Oh, golly, they're too far away. And I only have two flares left. <laughs> Don't think they saw that one. Better make this one count. Here goes. Look! Down there! A flare! Food? Food? Food! Food! I'm gone! I'll be right with you! Come on! Guys, I can't believe you found me. Relax, son. You're doing fine. Ain't that right, Doc? I have to get him back to the Octolab. He needs special treatment, but then he'll be as good as new. You see, you're home free. Not quite, Cap. We got company. Hmm, let's move out. Not yet. I need to attach a splint to hold Jimmy's tail before I can move him. Quasi to Captain Barnacles. The good news is, we found Jimmy. The bad news is, we're surrounded by a pack of hungry creatures. <laughs> Quasi, you and the bomber worms hold off those creatures. We're on our way. Dweek, prepare the Octomax suits. Let's get Jimmy out of here! 
So let's get Jimmy into the Octo Lab for his treatment. Well, Doc, how's my boy Jimmy? He's as good as you. I feel great, fellas. Oh, Jimmy! Thanks for all your help, Captain Barnacles. Glad to help a fellow captain. Well, then, looks like it's time for us to head back up where we belong. Plumber worms away! That was my lunch. Could someone help a blobfish out? Benji bot? Blobtastic. Monkey with a tool belt. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. And got it. 